Stupid, whore, hell, fool. These are words that we tend to avoid, but should we? Hey, smart Christians. Something that Christians tend to be a little bit bashful, shy, sometimes apologetic about are the uses of some words that we actually find in the Bible. Because we don't want to offend people or we don't want to sound offensive. Words that are used in the Bible and used in context that we don't use even in context ourselves because sometimes we think it's a bad word. We don't want to say hell, like something is out of hell. Well, we don't want to use that because it just kind of sounds funny to some people. Or the word whore. Well, the Bible uses the word whore. As a matter of fact, it uses the word whore a lot. What about the word stupid? Calling something or someone stupid. Well, the Bible does the same thing. What about fool or foolish? The Bible does that an awful lot. The word moron comes from the word fool in Greek. And so we need to be obviously sensitive about saying certain things that might be offensive. We don't want to just say a word just for shock value. That's not the goal. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 that knowing, verse 11, that we, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest to God. Now, his point is that there is a fearful expectation of people who are not in Christ. And so because of that, we need to warn people and using certain words or certain behaviors that are described in certain ways, we should not shy away from that. Now, people may become offended by that and therein lies a problem. But Jesus makes it clear that his gospel is going to offend people. He has come to even set fathers against sons and family members against other family members and so forth because of the gospel. That's going to happen. And so we should not shirk our duties in preaching the gospel just because it might offend someone. Well, I would rather you be offended and then come to know the truth than be at ease, never be offended, but then find yourself in hell. And so if we use words that are Bible-based that may be offensive to them, well, that's not really on us. That is on them. And that is where the Lord will come in and do the work in their heart. But that's not on us. And so let's not be afraid to be bold, even if it means offending some. The Bible does say that we should not use coarse joking and so forth and use filthiness. But the words that's used there is akin to our profanity today and that there's some sort of shock value, some sort of profane use of a word to drum up some sort of imagery to get a point across. Well, we shouldn't do that. Rather, if we're making a point and if we have to use some of those words and it's descriptive of what the Bible says, well, then that is OK to do. Again, the goal is not so much to offend for offense sake. The goal is to get a message of God to the people who need to hear it. Amen.